Hello, my name is Greg Voisin and I am a bioinformatics and biostatistics professional. In the past, I have worked in several research centers in Montreal, Canada, being involved mostly in cystic fibrosis and cancer research activities. Over the years, my experience has shown me that there exist important needs for bioinformatics and biostatistics in labs, for basic as well as for more complex tasks. I have also noticed how the needs and resources in bioinformatics aren't always well defined. With a better understanding of high throughput data and their analysis comes a better assessment of the needs and necessary resources. This way, it's easier to plan the bioinformatics component of your research project. Why integrate bioinformatics study in your future project? Microarray and next-generation sequencing are becoming essential essays to study biological processes such as gene expression or epigenomic cells. Because these technologies generate huge quantities of data, mastering the associated bioinformatic tools is indispensable. The bioinformatic tools and algorithm help you to explore data more thoroughly and perhaps formulating a more diverse range of hypotheses and testing them faster. Scientific creativity can really benefit from better data mining skills. To do that, where are efficient bioinformatic resources? When I said efficient bioinformatic resources, I mean available, ready to discuss your problem, and able to offer a reasonable solution or some additional perspective. In the base case, you dispose some bioinformatic resources near you, working for you. You are very lucky. In the intermediate case, you have some bioinformatic resources near you, but these resources are very busy with large projects and may only be able to bring occasional help in your analysis. In the worst case, you have no evident bioinformatic resources and you are face to face with your data. And the question is, how do I analyze that? What are the objectives of training? The principal objective is to educate the biologists to the bioinformatics resources in the goal to acquire a solid knowledge about the high throughput data and analysis. In the base case, the student could be expected to become autonomous for bioinformatics study and able to educate himself. Because the needs of each student are different, this training is built in modulus, including one or several sessions. This way, the student can choose only those what is pertinent for him. Many tools, algorithms and methodologies are available to perform your bioinformatic projects yourself, and it becomes easy to conduct bioinformatic projects and to keep the control of your analysis. To do that, you need to acquire some skills and some methodologies which increase your understanding about the bioinformatics concept applied in high throughput data and analysis. At term, the goal is to hollow progression from beginner to intermediate level. Then, with these tools and knowledge, you will be able to develop yourself the skills to acquire the advanced level. Why choose this training to acquire the skills to analyze high throughput data? This training is for biologists and doesn't require any specific background in informatics. It expects that you have a solid knowledge in molecular biology and taken a basic statistical course during your academic education form. This training focuses on the most popular high throughput technologies, microarray and next generation sequencing. We present all pertinent details of data analysis for both technologies, bias, quality control, analytic tools, pipeline, and interpretation. In this training, we use some free and open source software to perform analysis. This software, Air and Bioconductor, are very well documented by the scientific community and always updated. Here, we target two categories of students. The first type doesn't want to program in R, because the goal is to develop a better understanding of how to analyze data to improve communication with the bioinformatics or to manage bioinformatics projects in the future. The second type 
want to program in the R language and perform the analysis himself. This category of students is more interesting in the programming aspect and in the long term their objective is to create their own script on pipelines and maybe to become the bioinformatics for a team. At date, this training is composed of 17 videos, divided into 5 modules. The duration of each video is around 40 and 60 minutes, and will be available for a limited period of time on the web. This collection of videos covers all information needed to understand the theoretical and practical aspect of high throughput analysis. Each video is divided into two parts. The first part is theoretical, presenting the algorithm, the objective, and the interpretation of the result and some other pertinent details. In the second part, we present an script completely commented that we will run together and explain what exactly the script does and where the syntax must change to adapt the script for your problematic. As a complement to the videos, depending on your choice of modulus for the training, we offer support to answer your question, discuss with you the analytic solution for your experiment, and help you to integrate the material in your study. In the workshop session at the website, you find a most detailed description about this training. We hope that this workshop will bring some conclusive answers in the analysis of your data and encourage you to contact us to ask questions if necessary. Thank you of your attention.